Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard and authority for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is October the 3rd in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day. For the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken from Deuteronomy. We want to look at chapter 32 and verse 29. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. Let's read that one more time. Oh, that they were wise. This is the Lord speaking. Oh, that my people were wise, that they understood that they would consider their latter end. You see, the heart of the Bible, we are told, is the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord comes from an understanding that there are consequences to our actions. There is a judgment coming. We will stand before the great judge of the world and give account of our lives. And only through the blood the sacrifice, the death of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, can our sins be covered so that God sees purity and holiness through his son and not the evil deeds that we have performed in this life. But because we understand that, it propels us, it motivates us to live a God-fearing life to live according to the laws, the statutes, the judgments of God whom we serve. And that's why our passage says that they would consider their latter end. You see, if we keep before us the judgment seat at all times, it will truly compel us to live godly lives because we are going to understand that there are consequences to every action, to every thought, to every word. And if you're like me, friends, even in contemplating that, it brings you upon your knees in holy reverence before God, or as the Bible would say, in holy fear of God. You see, Jesus said, fear not man, nor anything that man can do to you. And man can do some pretty evil things unto us. But Jesus says, don't fear what man can do unto you. You fear God who can cast your soul into hell. And friends, that's what the Bible is telling us here, that at the forefront of our minds, unlike most, instead of fearing death, instead of fearing the judgment, instead of avoiding these things, what we should do is we should keep them before our eyes always so that we would live righteously unto our Lord. You see, fear, the way man understands it, breeds hopelessness. But we know that we have a blessed hope. We are looking for a better day, a brighter day. And so unlike the fear of the world, we are to reverence and fear the God whom we serve, knowing that there will be a day of reckoning for how we live our lives upon this earth. And Jesus said we are to be perfect as our Father in heaven is perfect. We are to be holy as he is holy. And so the beginning of this wisdom, the beginning of this understanding, is the fear of the Lord. And the reason for that is as our text would tell us that they would consider their latter end. In other words, where do you want to spend eternity? Because that will dictate your behavior. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so glad that you're here again this morning. And I truly trust and pray that your journey with the Lord is leading you away from this world 
and the things of this world and to still and quiet waters where you may rest in the loving arms of the God who saved you, knowing it is well with your soul. Well, now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I truly love you, and I'll see you on the next video.